Please note, I'm not trying to spread hate to these game companies, I'm only trying to speak the truth. Because the public has the right to know the truth. Alright, we're good? Game companies, they make a lot of decisions, don't they? Some that are actually good and get us excited for these choices they've made for their upcoming games, but every now and then, some choices they make are just absolute horseshit. So, let's talk about that, shall we? Here's True's top 5 worst mistakes from game companies. Number 5 on the list is one thing that bugs me and a lot of people, even to this very day, not having Nintendo 64 and GameCube games on the Nintendo Switch yet. For f**k's sake, where are they Nintendo? The Nintendo 64 and GameCube console had amazing enjoyable games, some that are even enjoyable to the point where you want to start over and play through them all over again. I'm telling you, these good old games are like precious rare video game jewels. Come on Nintendo, just add them to the Switch already. You know everybody wants it, admit it. Four. Number 4 here is one that I know a lot of people weren't pleased about. Steve from Minecraft added in Smash Bros Ultimate as a playable character. Seriously, what was Nintendo thinking? Come on! Personally, I do not see Steve from Minecraft work as a Smash Bros character, nor will I ever will. And also, I can't imagine his attacks and abilities in Smash would be that interesting. Seriously, they just wasted that spot there. Three. Next on number 3 is one that really bugs me and I'm sure a lot of other Klonoa fans feel the same way. And that is Klonoa games not on the Nintendo Switch yet. Seriously, come on Bandai Namco. Just add these Klonoa games to the Nintendo Switch, it's really not that hard. It would be really awesome to have the Klonoa games on the Nintendo Switch, especially since they're so hard to get now because on eBay and Amazon, people there put the prices on the Klonoa games there way too high, it's just ridiculous. Seriously, Bandai Namco, you'd be doing the Klonoa fans a favor by adding the Klonoa games on the Nintendo Switch, so just do it! Two. Number two is one that really pissed me off. Nintendo adding Kazuya in Smash Bros. Ultimate. That really made me mad, and I'm not just putting the blame of this on Nintendo, I'm putting it on Bandai Namco as well. Out of all the Bandai Namco characters they could have picked, they picked Kazuya. Like seriously, that could have been Klonoa's spot there in Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it would have helped raise awareness of the Klonoa franchise. Also, we have more than enough human characters in Smash Bros. Too many, in fact. Smash Bros. is supposed to be about having unique characters in it. I don't care what these two game companies think. They made the wrong choice picking Kazuya. They f***ed up. Seriously, Nintendo and Bandai Namco, you really need to get your sh** together in the next Super Smash Bros. game. And before any of you ask, there will be a next time. Because, let's be real people, Super Smash Bros. is one of Nintendo's most popular video game franchises. There's no way they're gonna stop working on it anytime soon. One! Now for number one. The reason I wanted to do this True's Top 5 video, so I can dump on the biggest gaming company mistake ever made and that is Bandai Namco still making repetitive anime games. Seriously, Bandai Namco, you rely way too much on it. All we see from them is just one repetitive anime game after another. Some from popular anime franchises, which is sort of okay sometimes. And then there are ones that you don't even know and are just boring. Can't they make anything original anymore? Like, when was the last time they've made a brand new Pac-Man game? Seriously. Bandai Namco needs to try something new and different from the games they make today. Like, for example, they could make another Pac-Man World sequel, Pac-Man World 4. Or they could make another sequel to Klonoa, a Klonoa 3 game. 
Or they can make an app game similar to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but instead with Bandai Namco characters, where you can create a team of characters like Pac-Man, Klonoa, and other Bandai Namco characters to fight against another team of characters. I could keep on going with this and give more examples, but I think you guys get the point. Just try some different stuff for once Bandai Namco. Bring back some good old classic characters we miss, like Klonoa and Pac-Man. Change the way you make games of today do anything for the love of god they ain't the same repetitive anime game bullshit over and over again! <sighs> I'll be right I'll be right back. I need to let out my frustration by screaming into a pillar or something before I explode. <laughs> Phew. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Well, I think I've made my point in this top 5 list. Honestly, that felt good, letting out all that frustration out. Like, seriously, that's been bugging me for like days. I know that some of you guys are probably going to hate me for what I chose on the list here, and for probably yelling at the top of my lungs here. But hey, fair or not, this is my show. My show, my list, my rules. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Not a damn thing! Keep in mind, I don't hate these game companies, I'm just being honest. I do like Nintendo, same for Bandai Namco, but man, the decisions they made here that's in this video, they're crap. They need a lot of help. But now it's your turn. Let me know what game company decisions you think are the worst. I want to talk to you guys about it. You can let me know on here or on Twitter, at TrueLoveHeart94. Like I said before in the previous top 5 videos, I do read the tweets. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later! That was probably the loudest you guys have ever heard from me in a video. I apologize if my yell in there hurt your ears, but who knows, maybe you guys kind of found it funny seeing me rage like that. If you guys want to see a True's Top 5 video where I didn't yell, check out my True's Top 5 Metroid games. And if you want to see me talk more about Klonoa, check out my True's Top 5 Klonoa games. It'll make you feel all wahoo and happy. Later!